a few of you guys were uh, were giving me crap in the comments, but this is a 2018 STI transmission going into a 2015 WRX. So I know it uh, might be a little difficult to see that by looking at it, but yes, this what? is a STI transmission. So that's going to get installed uh, hopefully like a weekend or two weekends from now. But today we're going to go ahead and get this STI differential in. What I'm trying to do is break it up into little parts as I can until I can get uh, my buddies over to help with the transmission. That's the heaviest part. Definitely not recommended to do that install by yourself. So I think I can go ahead and do the rear differential today and get the complete back end of the car completed. And then that way, um, when my friend comes help out, uh, my buddy Chris, he's gonna come help me out. And we're gonna try to tackle the a transmission up front um, and get all of that done in one day. So if I can break it up into smaller pieces, all the better, right? That just means more time to get it completed in one day because that's going to be quite a task. Anyway, especially on jack stands in a garage, nonetheless. But today we're going to look at uh, getting the R180 installed. This is the uh, STI rear differential. So what comes with the WRX stock is a R160. This is uh, quite a beefed up version for the differential right here. So we're gonna get that in today and then we're gonna try to get in the uh, axles for the back. So those will be upgraded. Um, and then that will give us more horsepower limitations. Usually these uh, people are saying that the axles here are good up to about 600 horsepower so definitely going to utilize the STI axles while doing this whole transmission swap so this is beat rush and I got this from Nick over at new provision always coming through with the fast shipping guys I'm telling you we got some stuff give him a shout and see if he can help you out but uh, this is gonna go ahead and this is gonna be one complete bracket uh, for the new rear differential. So it already comes with the polyurethane bushings pressed through it. Um, and that's just gonna be good supporting mod to stiffen things up back with the rear end. So looks cool in the gold. Um, I know there are a couple other companies out there like Cusco has one and there's this blue. Um, so I guess really depends on what you wanna go with. But this one caught my eye the most, I don't know why. I like it, maybe the name is cool. While I have the rear wheels off today, I'm gonna be replacing my lug nuts with these Gorillas. These are black. I've had the OEM lug nuts forever. Really no need to change until the end um, of the OEMs popped off on me. So I went ahead and just picked these up because um, they're steel for one, so that's gonna be super durable. They are a little heavier um, than something like an aluminum, but I'm not gonna be worried about the thread stripping out since they are a steel lug nut. So I'll go ahead and I'll upgrade my lug nuts. All right, so in addition to the beat rush and the lug nuts, we've got our transmission fluid here from New Provisions. This is Multool. I've been running this um, almost as long as I've had my car, so it seems like pretty good stuff. It doesn't really seem to break down too much um, when you do regular changes for the intervals. So I like it um, and it's been good to me. So I went ahead and picked up enough to do the rear differential and the transmission. Um, what we're gonna do is just kind of loosen up these two bolts back here. I think those are 17 mil and two 17 mils here. And then we'll have to disconnect from the WRX drive shaft up there. So here's the WRX axles for the rear and here's the STI for the rear. Um, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera too much, but STI is a lot thicker than WRX. So hold back more horsepower. But anyway, I'm gonna work on, I got one of them in already, one of the axles. I'll put the axles in first tighten the nuts, uh, torque them down to 137 foot-pounds of torque, and then punch down 
the nut. I did, did I did get new axle nuts, so I'm using those. These back bolts right here, make sure they go in front of your subframe here, and then we'll push them back in, and then have your bolts ready that feed into your brace right here. So you can do it by yourself. Um, it's not terrible. Uh, ideally, yeah, you'd, you'd want to have somebody help you out, but if you can't, this is the best way to do it. So it does take a little bit of finagling since once we get this uh, differential up higher, I'll have to push it forward and then get it into the holes for the subframe. So enjoy me doing this. <laughs> But all the time, I'm making sure my axles are going to be lining up the higher I go. And now, I'll start working it forward since we're going to have to come back with it some. Leaning a little bit, make sure it's not gonna fall in any direction. Ugh. So I need to go forward and keep going up. Almost high enough. I'll oh, see now I'm too high in the brackets. <laughs> it's barely like in here. Oh, I gotta get these bolts in real fast. Wow. Oh, I'm so glad I had these bolts handy, man. That thing was trying to go. Wow, okay. That was tricky. Just the hole for, Oh my gosh. The last thing for today is uh, some of the shifter bushings I got for the car, the STI transmission. So this is Cartboy's uh, shifter kit. It comes with this. I've already pushed this in. This was the stocker OEM. It's really soft. Like you can just push this out by hand. I was pretty surprised by that. Um, but that one's out and cart boy one's in so that's a lot stiffer. I'll um, Grease that up when the assembly comes and When it comes time to get ready to put in the SDI transmission. So right right now I'm going to be replacing this part um, Some kind of I don't know what part of the shifter it's called but um, this is really soft rubber and it's it slid out of um, the shifter really easy so Got that off, and then I've got the cart boy one here, and comes with uh, the two bolts. So we'll figure out where those bolt up when the STI transmission comes out. Oh, a little, I'm gonna use a little bit of force to go like this or this. I guess like this. Figure out how to get this in here well. There we go. All right, just pops right on like so. Hopefully that's on, right? This is my shift knob, my STI shift knob. So got that from the WRX and I'm gonna rock this one first, see how it goes. Now I've actually got a reason to have STI on the shift knob. <laughs> so that was one of the parts with the sports package for the WRX, but now it's coming in handy. Oh, 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 oh,